and I'm Scott Thuman. First tonight, new developments on a Maryland police officer who was dubbed the kissing cop or the loving lawman. While working for Prince George's County Police, he was caught on camera meeting his girlfriend in his police car while on duty. Video of their encounters went viral. Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell is joining us now live and Brad, the officer now fighting those charges against him. Yeah, and we should say, look, these are not criminal charges. These are accusations within the police department. If they have a regular job, right, your boss will call you in, you'll get discipline, you might get fired. But the police have due process, and that is to go before an administrative hearing board. That board has now concluded taking testimony, and they are deliberating, deciding what happens next for this officer. The viral video, shared and viewed millions of times, shows Prince George's County Police Officer Francesco Marlette in September 2023 engaged in what could be described not as excessive force, but rather excessive affection. While on duty, kissing, then ushering a woman into the back seat of his police car just steps away from a busy playground. The man who posted the video saying he felt what he witnessed was wrong. It shouldn't be done in broad daylight or with kids around. Then another video surfaced in a different park, but the same officer, same car, same scenario in the back seat. 30 minutes went by, it started getting dark, and that's when she literally just got out the truck and she went up out her way. Officer Marlette was suspended, and today he's getting the police disciplined version of his day in court, facing an administrative hearing board inside police headquarters on 28 charges, including conduct unbecoming a police officer. He declined comment. In the hearing, the county attorney making the case argued that Marlette's behavior during more than a dozen on-duty meetups with his girlfriend is the very definition of conduct unbecoming, spending hours in the back seat, slowly responding to emergency calls. Marlette's lawyer trying to downplay the caught on camera activity is having little impact on policing and saying, after all, it wasn't Marlette who posted the video. Yeah, and the hearing board had some questions about that as well. So they have concluded taking testimony, as we said. The hearing board is now deliberating. We're not sure when we will hear their final decision on this case, but you know, they can clear him, but if they find him guilty, they then will tell that to the chief of police. The chief of police will decide what happens next for this police officer who remains suspended. In Upper Marlboro, Brad Bell, 7 News.